Hello and welcome to week three. Uh, just a few notes about this week. Um, well, last week the quizzes looked really good. Um, I did take off some points for not being clear on the algebra. Uh, don't skip any steps if you don't think it's obvious. And I think in factoring that trinomial into a perfect square, it'd be nice to see that because I don't think it's obvious how then all of a sudden the square root goes away. So just just be sure that if you were reading it um, or if you were showing it to somebody else in the class that they would be able to follow how you got from step three to step four or whatever. Um, so otherwise though they looked really good. Um, and then a few people didn't rename the files after they scanned so make sure you're naming them after the number of the quiz. That makes it a lot easier for me to figure out which quiz is which. That'll become a bigger deal as we accumulate lots and lots of quizzes. So um, please make sure you're naming them after the section. Uh, this week, you'll be looking at surface area, which is closely related to arc length. Because if you think about a curve in space being revolved around an axis, it's really the length of that curve that generates the surface area as it goes around. So. Um, so we'll be building off of what you did last week with arc length. And then we're going to move into some physics applications, the idea of work, which is the idea of putting energy into a system or taking energy out, and fluid force. So when a fluid is in a container, it pushes on the sides, computing how much force that liquid is computing. You'll be looking at that as well. Um, Center of mass used to be a required topic in this course, but it isn't any longer, so um, we're not covering it. So you may notice some problems in the book relating to center of mass. Um, you're welcome to look at it, and if you have questions, uh, feel free to ask me, but we're not formally going to cover it. You won't be tested on it. It won't be on the final. Um, and if you've never had any physics, don't worry. Uh, one of the videos I do this week kind of gives you all the basic intro stuff you need. We're not doing any heavy duty physics, so you should have everything you need self-contained in this section. Um, this week, I am leaving town Thursday morning and won't be back until Sunday night. Um, that doesn't mean I'm incommunicado. I will be checking my email and responding to discussion posts and everything. It's just, Things might be a little delayed. Um, I'll try and stay on top of it. And also, just keep in mind, if you ask a question about a homework problem, um, you may want to give a brief description of what the problem is asking you to do because I won't necessarily have easy access to the book. I have the book on my tablet, but if I'm out and around with just my phone, it's hard for me to look at the textbook on my phone. So um, that could be helpful. But I will still be responding within 24 hours, but it may not be um, my typical one or two hours that I've been trying to respond in. So just keep that in mind. And um, I think that's it. Uh, enjoy the week. Hope you had a good Labor Day weekend. And uh, just keep me posted on how you're doing. Thank you very much.